Resistances in Grim Dawn are genuinely important, and you will want to keep them in check. You may complete normal without caring too much about them, but Elite and Ultimate will test you without you spending some time sorting them out. Remember, you don't do damage when you're dead, so staying alive and spending a bit more time taking that boss down is best than dying, obviously more so in Hardcore. The core resistances in the game are as follows. Fire, Cold, Lightning, Poison and Acid, Pierce, Bleed, Vitality, Aether, Stun and Chaos. These resistances can be found on the first tab of your character screen. You also have non-core resistances which are found in the third tab of your character screen and they are Physical, Disruption, Life Leech, Energy Leech, Trap, Petrify, Freeze, Sleep and Slow. I personally focus on core resistance over non-core, not because these are less important to look out for, but in my experience they are less detrimental in staying alive in most circumstances. Halving damage dealt to you will keep you alive more than being slow for 30% for 2 seconds. Yes, of course, being slow may cause you to take more damage overall in that situation, therefore nullifying the half damage in the first instance, but that can be flipped on its head also. The only non-core resistance that I really feel does need attention is physical, as I have actually had characters die from physical damage even when their other resistances are overcapped. You will see elemental resistance on items and this boosts fire, cold and lightning in the same way that damage is boosted from the elemental damage for the same. If you're finding yourself low on resistance and you're not finding equipment to help, remember there are many components of varying levels that can help you plug all or some of those gaps. Also remember that you'll find resistances in the devotions too, so you may wish to detour away from damage for a time to work on these. Unless modified to be higher by an item, the cap on resistances is 80% per 1, although having more than 80%, which is called overcapping, is important too. There are many foes in Grim Dawn that reduce your resistances and make you weaker, so having more than the cap will assist you here. For example, if you were at 80% fire resistance with 30% overcapped, and an enemy reduced your fire resistance by 50%, you would fall to 60% resistance rather than 30% resistance making you still viable to stay in the fight. Difficulty reduces your resistances by the amounts shown on the screen now. As you can see, not all are changed in Elite, but all are affected in Ultimate. What this means is that going from one difficulty to another will make you consider your resistances once again and you may need to spend some time sorting them out to ensure you have the best chance of survival. So that's a quick overview of resistances in Grim Dawn. To repeat myself, you do not do damage when you're dead, so ensure you build them up where possible. If you found this video useful, please give it a like, and if you didn't, give the video a dislike. It all helps me learn how to make better content. So as always, thank you everyone and stay safe.